Sitting in about three, three feet of water. I had to drop anchor. Three feet of water. And I got fish just boiling all around me, so I'm trying to be quiet. Set up my lid. She just heard that one jump. I got the boat. Well, 30 feet of it. Now I caught that by throwing my rub so on this throwing this um, soft plastic oh on top of the lily pads and what I did was I bounced it along the top of the willy lily pads and then as soon as it come off the lily pads that thing just inhaled it so it's a good way to entice a strike if you uh, get their attention by just dragging it across but uh, bear in mind every time you go between lily pads there's a potential strike there and that's how I got that Let's see if I can do it again. Perfect cast. Oh, they miss it a lot of times because uh, by the time they actually get the right tail, <clears throat> just like that. Oh, what do we got? Another snipe. Oh, the pickerel. Pickerel's on. That, he come off. Anyway, that's how that's done. <laughs> you know, they're a lot of fun to catch, I'll say that. Every once in a while you get into a big one, but pickle around here aren't really that desirable. They're fun to catch, certainly, but it doesn't have the prestige of the northern pike. Rig it up super weedless. I just had a, uh, came all the way back to the boat and I spooked him. It's so fun to watch him just explode. Worm like that. And then just keep bouncing it like that. And then when you hit one of these like that, you're going to get a strike. Just keep bouncing it along. Those lily pads. Like that. And then leave it right there and that's where you get your strike right there. And you explode out of the water to hit it. And when you get it onto a pad, you just twitch it. Like that. Very productive. Those fish like to get in these uh, under these pads, and you know the sun's high and hot, and they get under these pads and get some shade. And uh... oh, here we go! Oh, missed him. <sighs> I 
that thing hit literally right there. Well, hand on the pickle today. Not what we're after. small version of what is also looks like a northern pipe but that's a pickle. There he is! There he is! Oh baby! Oh I spit it again! Damn! God! Man it's hard to hook him. Let's try that again. I get this thing so super weedless that it's hard to set the hook. But as you can see Oh, oh, right there we go. Oh, he spit it again. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. If I can't draw him out one more time. Another one just like, how about that, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Catch a fish for you, people. One time over there. Oh, that is so. That is that's some serious real estate right there. Right there. Right there. Oh. All right, that's my place. Another pickle. But you see how it works. Whew. You inhaled that sucker too, man. That's old two pound smallie. Little sunset bass tour. Oh, he's a, these fish are full of life. It's good. Oh my God, he's puking up uh, baby bass. Yeah, uh, he just coughed up like three. This thing just coughed up three. I'm gonna go get him and show him to you, but he just coughed up three baby bass. Sorry to spoil your dinner, buddy. He was getting greedy and gonna eat my rubber worm. So I was saying, the bass I just caught just coughed up three of these. So, the point is, that's what, that's what they're feeding on. Chris has got a good nice one on. Food for thought, no pun intended. Always good to know what fish you're eating. And uh, with three of those in his belly, he's still one after my Gary Yamamoto. So. Uh, you never know. Ah, pickle. Oh well.